Chapter 375 dropped and it seems to be the final boat chapter for some time, yet we are left with a very worrying state for our main protagonist. We open with Daiba and Silat communicating about the identity of the ship and an apparent prophecy is spoken by Daiba that is reiterated by Silat. A dark night, the moon a drawn bow, lighting the heavens from sea where sun has sunk, cometh beast in chains bound, wreathed in white mist's haze. It is quite clear that the implication is the arrival of Roderick's ship, and perhaps Guts as well, both of whom are chained up, entering the Kushan territory from the west. Silat initially speculates it might be one of the Falcons or Griffith coming to invade the country of the Kushan Empire. Griffith has expressed his desire to head east, most likely to increase his sphere of influence, so this is a valid guess from Silat. However, the freaky ass sorcerer Daiba gives a more accurate description of the events, assuming they are simply a fleeing ship from the eruption of Fantasia. But Silat implies that Daiba is also plotting something else in his actions. The character direction of Daiba is an interesting one as he went from the right hand man of Ganishka himself to an elderly man living in secrecy amongst Falconia to now being on the front lines again accompanying the young leader Salat as he calls him. This leaves his motives clouded in mystery which sparks even more intrigue due to his very unique abilities as a sorcerer. Next, we move to one of the more significant parts of the chapter and that is the capturing of Guts. We see how many Kushan men straining to pull and out of the darkness a wounded, seemingly defeated beast slowly trods along. This really made me feel a sense of desolation as this is so unlike Guts and it's unsettling to see. Throughout the story, even when he is tired, even when he has the odds against him, Guts keeps fighting, but here he is exhibited like some sort of beast captured by humanity and put on display to be gawked at. It is uncomfortable to see as we know in his right mental state not a single force upon that ship stands a chance of surviving, and Isidro feels the same way. Shocked at what he is seeing, a man he admires beyond anything, a monster of the sword. Let's be real, Isidro glazes this man Guts beyond anything. So, the shattering truth that he has been beaten is almost incomprehensible, and we can truly feel Isidro's screams of disbelief as the tears begin to well up in his eyes. Guts was the pillar of strength for the group, unbreakable in his resolve. Although not identical, it did remind me of the scene in Attack on Titan as Gabby screams for Reiner's help, and like Guts, his mental state is so broken that Reiner simply ignores her for some time before snapping back. I can't say the same for Guts, it seems, but we can understand Isidro's perspective here at least. He just lost Isma, a girl, pretty much, that he felt a proper connection with and has been distant ever since. This outburst is natural for a kid of his age. After he is subdued, however, we see the GOATS Ricker break through the wall of soldiers to approach Guts as Puck uncharacteristically remains silent with no emotion shown as it happens. Guts doesn't even react to Ricker's voice, someone he's not seen for years, which shows how far he really is out of the fight. Ricker introduces himself to Roderick, which gives a wave of relief as they can finally communicate with someone, someone who also knows Guts, and Ricker reveals they must be seized for the time being due to their unknown origin. We snap back to Daiba and Silat as they discuss the true reason for Daiba mobilising the entire navy was purely to subdue the Black Swordsman. They say it themselves, and awakened Guts would make very light work of the current numbers against him. Daiba announces his return to the capital of the Kushan Empire, and Silat comments on General Daiba being a man who knows no bounds. The chapter ends with the bright light of arrival to this new land and with this light comes certainly a more hopeful outlook for the future of the party. If Griffith intends to head east as well, this might end with Guts joining the Kushan force to meet the brunt of Griffith's invasion and whilst I don't see any way the Kushans can win, it may present a way for Guts to get to Griffith once more. But with that being said, there is clearly a lot of recovery Guts needs to undergo before he is even fit to wield a blade again so I expect to see quite a few more chapters of him slowly rebuilding his strength. Whilst it does take a lot of physical strength to lift the sword, it takes a lot of mental fortification to also be able to hold it. On top of this, we might see Skull Knight appear once more to spur him on, or I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see. But anyways, that's going to finish up the video. I'm truly excited for the new arc of Berserk to undergo, regardless of how long we have to wait for it. I'll be there to feast on every tiny scrap. But until the next video, peace.